Hi, it's Sun from the Math. Easy. So we're gonna discuss another GIMP Photoshop tutorial and look at how to curve text and other objects using the Cage Transform option. Basically, if I open up uh, GIMP right here, I think I'm using GIMP 2.8, etc., or something like that. But uh, it should work for all versions of GIMP. Basically, what I mean by curve text or objects, let's just first. Okay, here's just a white background. Let's just make a new layer and. Uh, drag this in here so it's called transparent layer and let's just draw a uh, just a just a straight line right here so if I draw a straight line and I want to curve it you could just basically curve it using this cage transform right here this little uh, polygon shape stuff and do and basically what well, first I'm gonna do all you do is just select points around it and I'm gonna pick points close to this just to illustrate what happens if it's close and also the number of points just means how sensitive or how much areas you can curve basically so if you want to go basically less uh, or more broad uh, curving areas you can make it farther apart so you have something like this and you can just move it around so it's gonna curve down I made a close just to illustrate that if you get like if you go put this cage transform under the original where basically past the original line straight line you drew or the object as you can see I'm just gonna put it down a bit more you're gonna see it there so if you go down too much, you're gonna see this. Uh, you're gonna see back the original line. So there, as you can see, you can see that where the line is right here. So just be careful of that. Just wanted to point that out. Basically, now you can just curve it. You put this down. Let's just curve it something like that. Then just press enter, and you have a curved line. So now, if you want to go text, you could just do the same thing. I'm just gonna write something here. All right. So I wrote MathEasySolutions.com. Let's want. Let's just say you want to curve this. Just to illustrate a point. Basically, uh, if you have, uh, well, I, I, first of all, I just wanted to show a couple things here. If you click the cage transform right now, as you can see with text, so that's the layer, and as you can see how small it is, it's just this little rectangle. So now, actually, if I, were, if I were to pick, let's just pick around it. So now the problem with this right now is if you were to do, if you were trying to curve it into like a smiley face again, as you see, it's curving, but then uh, the layer is so small that it's going to go past this layer right here. So uh, to overcome this, you could do two things. You could just go back to this. You could either make this uh, just bigger, and then make this in the center. So make this in the center, and then click here and put it in the center, and then start doing the curve. As you see, it's a bigger layer. Or you could just do, uh, just make it even easier than that. You could just go right here and go, uh, so new layer. So just create a new layer, and we'll make another transparent layer, and I move this below it. Yeah, so I moved it below it. Now you could just go merge down, right click, merge down. As you can see, now this entire layer is just, uh, yeah, so this text is inside that big layer. And then you can go ahead and curve the text, put wide around it so we don't have this issue of basically overriding the original, uh, basically the original Math Easy Solutions uh, text like I showed in the line. So now we just curve it down. And as you can see, it's curving down. I'll just do some weird stuff like that. Oops, just put this down here. Then you can stretch this like that. And just put this back down. So you can play around with it. As you can see, it is curving. Let's see what this does. And you can see play around, do see what else you can do. And just press enter. And there's there is the curved text and there's curved objects. And you can do this with just about anything. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned from uh, this quick, easy example on uh, GIMP uh, how to curve text and objects. Remember, GIMP is free. It's pretty powerful. Photoshop program is really small in size. You can just download it from GIMP uh, from their, their website. Well, that's all for today. And uh, remember, you can, you can even download this if you want this uh, this GIMP file that I have. Well, that's all for today. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.